minus the 75 degree indoor temperature, we will have the 20 degree delta T. Now, as we look at that, we add this to the formula of energy content, the quantity of energy, based on the materials, the walls, the ceiling, the floors, the windows, the doors, the, uh, all the uh, components of a house. We know what the heat tra transfer factor, heat transfer factor, times its area of the heat of the material times the delta T, we would know how much heat is transferring through it at that time. So if it's 20 degrees, perfect, great. If it's higher than that, uh, of course, that delta T would be higher and the amount of BT transfer would be higher. But now, here's the thing what we do. We cannot change the structure of the house every time the temperature change. So thereby, we must design the worst case scenarios or the most average temperature we know that it would reach in the different seasons. So in the summertime, in Chicago, we know for sure it would get around 95 degrees. Does it get warmer at that time to time? Yes, it does, but it doesn't consistently do it on a regular basis. But we do know that in a normal summer, that we'll reach around 95 degrees. So as we look at that, heat in the house is 75. So we have a, a, a equipment in the house that is designed to be able to uh, remove the heat that is gaining into it. So because of the sun, it is actually bringing heat, transferring into the house through the materials. And the better the materials are made to resist heat, uh, the slower that process will be, which will aid and uh, keep maintain the temperature, but not only to maintain the temperature, but by uh, having the equipment doesn't have to be as large because it's doing less work because the insulation is impeding the flow of heat into the structure. So the heat is trying to come in at 95 degrees outdoors and it's coming into the house and heat it up, but we have refrigeration equipment, which is the air conditioning system, which will extract that heat and put it back outdoors. We don't care about the outdoor temperature somewhat, but we do care about the indoor temperature where our comfort level is very important. So he's coming in through the structure, through the doors and windows, through the roof, through the ceiling. Of course, the ground going to maintain pretty consistent temperature. It will vary somewhat, but of course, he can transfer that way too. Usually in basements, the temperature can be pretty consistent, so we don't have a very large heat gain in basements. A lot of times there's a heat loss. So as we look at this, this is a, uh, how we gain heat into a structure. So understanding how heat transfer by the heat transfer factor by the amount of material we have and the temperature difference in the delta T, then we can look at how we need to size equipment up. And so by designing a house, we need to understand that when we design a house, we need to understand the type of materials we are using and its uh, effect on impeding the